Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Now, I've been asked a question by William KE8SSD, and he is frustrated with this and his radio. Okay, this is the so called red cable from PowerWorks, and it works for uh, all the Chinese radios that come out with the Kenwood style uh, connectors, the bigger one and then the smaller one. This is pushed into the side of the radio and then this is put into a um, USB port. Seems so simple, but it's not always. Now, one of the favorite pieces of software for uh, programming radios is called Chirp. C H I R P and is available from Chirp at Dan. I'm sorry. And is available from chirp.danplanet.com. And uh, when you go to that address, you'll see a list of all of the radios that uh, it will support. And it supports all the Baofeng and stuff like that. One um, thing it does not yet support are the DMR features of these radios and for that you need to use the factory software. By the way if you have a DMR Baofeng radio you need to go to the Radiodity website to find that software. Uh, the nice thing about Chirp is you can transfer things from one type of radio to another. It has a lot of really nice features and I wish they'd open up on the digital because there's a, a lot of radios now have digital capabilities. Now, I'm going to show you on the screen the problem that William is having. Okay, uh, he's using Chirp, uh, which we can see right here. Uh, this happens to be my settings for the Baofeng UV5R, and this is a, a bunch of local repeaters here. There aren't that many where we live. Now, um, he has uh, opened up his radio. He's got his radio. He's got the right model. There's, of course, a million models you can put in there. But look what's blank, the port number. Okay. So let's go ahead and plug in the cable. This is the cable. I'm not going to attach it to a radio. It doesn't need be. The actual chip that determines behavior is in here in the red thing. So I'm going to plug this in. Okay. And it is still blank. Look at that. Now let's go down here to the corner. You see the start button right there. Now don't press the left button like you normally do on the mouse. Press the opposite button. Okay. And you get a menu. And one of the items in the menu is the device manager. Click on that. What you get is this. Okay, and the thing that is important are the ports. The Silicon Lab CP210X USB to UART bridge is COM4. Okay, the 4 is the number that you want, COM4. Okay, the communications port is used by another device on my uh, computer. But now if I were to take this thing out of the USB lab, you see that that uh, uh, Silicon Labs one disappears. So let's put it back in and we've got the Silicon Lab. So what we want to do is go over here. Yeah, well, let's close this. We've, we've done what we need. We now know the port. It's COM4. Okay? So that's all there is to it, to finding the port. This is a very simple trick. So to review, bring up your chirp, plug in your red cable, go down to device manager, okay? And look under ports. That's device manager. Look under ports. Pick the one that's the Silicon Labs, uh, which is for the red cable. It may be a prolific if you're using the programming cable that uh, 
team with your radio. Now, one thing I would recommend that you do is bring this screen up before you plug in your cable and then plug in your cable and see what pops up because that's the one that you're going to need over here right there and from there you're ready to go so there you have it uh, the cable itself is remarkably easy to use as long as you know about a remarkably well hidden property of windows 10 and I'm assuming this will carry over to Windows 11, which is just uh, starting to come out now. If you've watched this video this far, I would suggest that you subscribe. Subscribing does not uh, put you under any obligation. However, it does signal your support to YouTube for this channel, making them more likely to recommend this channel to you and others. I'd really appreciate that. I'm very close uh, just about uh, one-tenth of a percent away from the 100,000 mark, which is a magic mark for YouTube. So please subscribe, please click like, and also if you would like to support this channel financially, you may by going to dcastler.com support. One of the support mechanisms is through Patreon. If you go that way, uh, we make available to Patreon um, people via Patreon, uh, one video a week early to you. So you can get a chance to see it before anybody else does. Please check that out. That is a perk for people on Patreon. And then the video shows several days later on the channel. Um, I've also already introduced a new feature of this channel. My study is filled with books and gadgets I've accumulated from having this channel, and it's time to thin the herd, so to speak. I'm announcing the second giveaway to hams in the USA. This is for this month, September of 2021. The drawing will be during the live stream on the last day of the month, September 30th. So please get your whatever it is in the mail, it takes snail mail, a week early because they're moving slowly these days and as we get closer to Christmas they'll move even more slowly. Somehow moving slowly is supposed to make them more efficient. Okay so here's what you have to do. First of all what are we giving away? We're giving away an NFED half-wave antenna from myantennas.com. I've already tested this antenna. It's remarkable. Um, it's so much to the point that I recommend it. It is rather long. Um, it is 130 feet long. Uh, you can, if you've, if you've only got like 120 feet of space, say from the front of your property to the back, uh, then you might want to um, bend it a little bit or bend it around a tree or something like that. Uh, you can do that. Um, I, when I read the instructions very closely, to me, it seems that it ought to be set up as an inverted V. So that's what I did for tests, and it worked wonderfully. Okay, so here's how you do it. It's totally free to you. Send a postcard, a QSL card, or a simple one-page letter by snail mail to P.O. Box 98, Ridgeway, Colorado, 81432. On whatever you send, make sure to include the giveaway number, in this case, number two. Include your name and call sign and shipping address. Please include, I ship via USPS. Please include your phone number in case I have questions. Um, please, nothing else, though, if you want to send a picture of you and your station, I may be able to show those during the live stream. Electronic submissions will not be accepted. The drawing will take place during the live stream held Thursday evening US time on September 30th. Note that I pay the shipping for this, so it's all totally free for you. I hope to do something like this every month. Uh, note that after the drawing, all entries will be discarded and no information will be kept or transcribed and certainly not sold. So there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.